What's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to use a progress bar with your macro. So you've got your macro all typed out, you got your code already, um, and you want to let the user know how far along the macro is while it runs. So what we can do is uh, use a user form. So we'll go to insert user form and all of this here should pop up your toolbox and your properties if they don't you can go to view and then um, you get your properties window so this is gone say and this is gone view properties window that pops up and then view toolbox should pop up there it is view toolbox all right so this is going to be the design we're using for our status bar or progress bar Let's go with a rectangular shape like this. The actual user form, we should, we'll call that uh, let's call it progress or let's call it status bar. And then the caption here where it says user form one, we're going to change that to running. Now for our background, let's change it up. Let's go with like a black background. So click that. And we're gonna go ahead and pull that toolbox back and insert a frame. So we got the frame in there. And for the frame border, let's add a border border color let's make it white the caption we'll leave that blank we'll be using that later and the name we'll just call this frame all right so so far we've got our user form called status for status bar and our frame called frame now we're going to bring that toolbox back and we're going to enter a label. You know what, we could do another frame. So we'll do another frame within this frame. And that'll be our the outline of our bar. So the back color, let's make it white no caption the name is going to be border okay and then last but not least we're going to enter the actual bar so that's going to be a label and we'll try to make it the same size As, a, as the border we just made. So the name of this label will be bar, we'll call it bar. The back color, palette, we do a red, be kinda cool, or a green. Let's go with the green. All right, so our caption label, we want that to be blank. So if you get a picture of what this uh, status bar is going to look like. So we're going to have this green bar going across here on the black background. And then in this area, so let me click on that. In the frame is where we're going to actually have our percentage. So say we have 23%. Good thing I wrote that in there because we see it's black. We need to make sure that font color is actually white. All right. But for now, we'll just have that blank. Okay, so we've got our user form made. And we can go over and back to our code. So we just click module one. And now what we're gonna do is bef determine where and how we want to iterate throughout our status bar. So I have a loop here. What I'm gonna do is just call 
well, let's create a sub, right? So we're gonna call this sub open status bar, and it's gonna be right before the, the loop starts, the do while loop starts. So I'll put my sub down here, open status bar. So then the name of my user form is status bar, right? So with status bar, I'm going to perform the following operations. I'm going to change the bar. Remember we named the actual green bar. We named it bar. And we want the width to be equal to zero. So we don't want there to be any bar initially. And then the frame. We want the caption of that frame to be equal to 0% complete. So just a quick recap. So if I go back to status bar, we've got our frame here. So I want the initial frame to say 0% complete here. And then for the actual bar, we want the bar to have a width of zero. So this screen will be gone, right? And then I want to show my actual user form. And I have to use this here, VB modeless. Otherwise, when I show my user user form, you won't be able to continue with the macro. So this allows the macro to continue on after the user form has popped up. So we've got our open status bar done. That sub's good. Now we're going to need the actual sub where the user form is, um, the bar is moving across the user form. So we're go we'll go ahead and stick that in here at the bottom of the loop. And in order to continue updating the status bar, you want to use do events. And then we'll have our sub, we'll call it run status bar. And with this sub, we're gonna take in two variables. We're gonna take in I and then the count. So this is actually counting the number of rows going down. So I want the total number of rows, right? And then I want I, which increases after, after each loop. So we're gonna take in I as an integer and we're gonna take in, but here I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it row. And then the count, we're gonna take that in and I'll call it total as an integer. So that means up here, we're gonna have to either write I and then count so that these get taken into the sub, or I could do call and then put these in parentheses. They're equivalent in this case. All right, so then I'm gonna go back to with status bar. So with my user form here, I'm going to start to increase the bar width. So let me go ahead and get the, the original width of my bar. So the bar has a width of 246. So my bar width is 246 and I wanna multiply that by the row divided by the total number of rows. So that'll give me the percentage. So as my, row is my rows are increasing, this percentage will increase and then this will become closer and closer to 246, the width will. So then with my frame, I wanna update the caption. And what I want is my row divided by total, so my percentage, but I wanna multiply that by 100 and I want to attach parentheses complete on the end. And also, I want this to be rounded to the nearest integer. So I will do round and then here, I'll put a comma and then zero, and I'm good to go on that. 
so then I can end my width so here the bar is getting updated here the percentage is getting updated in the frame now I'll also need to add unload status bar so after it's all said and done in my I'm out the loop I want to close that pop-up the um, the user form all right so let's go ahead and do this so this code actually deletes all blank um, rows so sorry it deletes all blank all rows with a blank in column I so anytime you see a blank here it'll get deleted and this is a data this is the I think thousand most populated cities in the world so let's go ahead and run it oops should be end with right there all right let's try this again check that out so see the rows are deleted the status bar popped up so let's run that one more time so I have this copied on this other tab so let me copy it back over to the first one run the macro again So yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know of any topics you want me to cover next. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.